Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day now. For some cruisers out there, the small luxury cruise line is absolutely a dream come true, right? Those very small ships. Some of them are holding as little as 50 passengers, 100 passengers. They're smaller cruise lines, but they're luxury, and they go to those destinations that big cruise ships just can't go to. But, but, they do come with this warning. So it all sounds wonderful, right? A small cruise ship, very few passengers, they look after you, you can go on adventures, and there's one such cruise ship line out there was called Island Escape Cruisers in New Zealand. And they normally have, you know, 40, 50 passengers on that luxury ship, and they travel around to places like Fiji and New Zealand, and it's a very expensive cruise top of the line luxury. But what happens because it's such a small cruise line and a small cruise uh, ship, what happens if they run into trouble? What happens if they run into problems financially, like a pandemic? Well, this cruise line ran into exactly that issue. And so they actually had to end up liquidating that cruise ship and closing down the cruise company. And it was recently sold this year for around $5.5 million, well, well under what the value of the cruise. A similar cruise ship of that size should be around 35 to 50 to 60 to 70 million dollars for that type of ship. Well, they sold this one for 5.5 on January 13th. Now that, uh, that doesn't leave a lot of people in, you know, too much about getting your money back because if you're going into bankruptcy or foreclosure or anything, the first people to get back their money are not the paying passengers. The paying passengers are definitely not those people. The first ones is the government, if there's owed any taxes, and then it's the creditors like banks. And in this case, uh, 11 $0.8 million is owned to the export finance company in Norway and approximately 8.5 is owned to the Bank of New Zealand. Uh, so even they are not going to get back their money. A total of about $20 million to the creditors is owed. They only sold it for 5.5. So they're not going to get even enough to pay back the banks. So what does that mean? That means passengers, like a couple that are on there, who spent over 23,000 pounds for, for one cruise is left in the lurch and no way to get their money back. And that goes for all the cruises that were booked going forward from the time they went into receivership. So people were sitting there patiently hoping to waiting to get their money back. And a lot of them that were even had, you know, cancellation insurance and things like that, they're having a hard time because it's not canceled for a regular reason. It's canceled because the company went under. And that is, that is a, a real strange, strange situation. They're having a hard time. They're fighting for it. So as well as a lot of these, like I look at them too, when, I, when I'm looking at like the Galapagos Islands or heading to Fiji and Bora Bora, places like that, I see all these little ships and I'm going, those would be kind of cool to get right in close to the beach and you know, Zodiac over, you don't have to line up like a big cruise ship and everything, get in tenders. Sounds really fascinating. And I know they are a luxury line that cater to your services like it's like a it's like owning your own private yacht and bringing on 20 or 30 of your closest friends that's what that is meant to be and it sounds great but when you're looking at some companies if something happens financially to that company you could be absolutely left in the lurch for a lot of money like 23,000 pounds in Canadian that's around $40,000 
that some people are out and some people are out even more. So I thought I'd bring you that little bit of warning. If you're looking at those private companies out there, if, if anything happens, not that they all, you know, you don't hear of a company going under for cruise lines very often or anything like that, but, but, my luck, it would be the one that I chose. Well, I hope you appreciate this little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation. Bye.